Okay, this reading is for Capricorn, Sun and Rising Signs. And this is a little reading for you for November. But let's take a look at your recent past. We have the Two of Pentacles, Five of Wands, and Queen of Fire. So you're you're having to um, adapt to new situations, maybe a different life than you thought. Just a lot of changes that you've had to deal with. So you've had to learn to be adaptable and flexible. And this also goes with friendships or just relationships in general and learning to honor the differences you have with each other, being open to new friends and just new ideas overall when it comes to changes and new relationships. This has really um, helped you to see that you can have collaborations with other people. You're capable of strong friendships that inspire you and encourage you to express yourself in your own way. This makes you passionate about the future and what it can bring to you. Now let's take a look at November. Okay, here we have the Seven of Water. Four of Earth. And Call, which is the Judgment. So I see that in November, you're needing to, again, it's talking about staying open to the possibilities and the impulse to control needs to, that needs to be an old way of doing things because for November, it looks like you always try to maintain stability, especially when it comes to your finances. But because I can see that you're focused on a certain prize or opportunity that may be coming up for you, And with this, this card here, call, this is a call to action. And not in a way you have before. Because along with being adaptable and flexible, this means being open to an outcome. It may not be what you foresaw in, in the past or it may not be the vision that you have for yourself. But as long as you have faith that there is a divine plan for you, that you are in the right place that you need to be in order for, for spirit to help you realize this opportunity and how that's going to manifest. But it all, it all comes with believing in yourself and having the faith to, to make that happen through your actions and your attitude. So let's take a look at your advice. We have belong to your own dream and create your own life. Some people and some societies are very powerful. Our, our culture would like us to live a certain dream to marry, to have a home, a good job, and then die peacefully. But that dream, that collective dream, or the dream of our rulers may not be your dream. Remember your own dreams and wishes, and to set about making sure that they are governing your choices. 
Many people will encourage you to head in a certain direction and live in a particular way that nearly everyone will agree is quote-unquote right. But you have your own dream, a life in which you will live a little more adventurously and strangely than many others. It is time to break free of the collective dream and live within your own. Belong to only one dream. Belong to your own. This is about you finding that you've been following a plan, maybe a path that is not truly your own. So it's best to decide to take steps to live in a way that is authentic and truly your own. So if you have been wishing to live in your own world, make sure that you take focused action in not staying with people or jobs that are not part of your dream and not be governed by the desires and dreams of others. So it's time to make big changes toward following that authentic path. This is your soul's true dream for its evolution this lifetime. <laughs>